what is given in the question number 2 that this angle POQ is uh, 110 degrees here O is center of circle and we have to find angle PTQ where PT and uh, QT these are the tangent with point of contact at P and Q and this is what is center so we have already seen that yesterday we have already uh, before this um, before this part of this uh, we have seen the theorem that this angle made by angle made by this uh, two tangents at exterior point this exterior point T angle made by this uh, tangent at exterior point and angle made by this point of contact at this center these are supplementary to each other the reason is this angle and this angle is 90 degree because radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact so 90 plus 90 180 and sum of these four angle equal to 360 means remaining these two is 180 so what what we say we can take a complete theorem also what we can say in quadrilateral P O Q T angle O P T plus angle O Q T plus angle P O Q plus angle P T Q that is equal to 360 degree 360 degree this is equation number 1 reason angle sum property of angle sum property of quadrilateral angle sum property of quadrilateral out of which these two angles are 90 90 each this angle is 90 and this angle is 90 reason these two angles are 90 each because these are angle made by radius with a tangent at the point of contact and this angle is given this angle is 110 degree so this angle PTQ that is equal to 360 this is 90 plus 90 180 so it implies it implies 110 degree plus angle PTQ that is equal to 360 minus 180 that is 180 degree so sum of these two angles, sum of these two angles equal to sum of these two angles equal to 180 degree. Means these are supplemented to each other. Implies angle PTQ equal to 180 minus 110 degree. That is equal to 70 degree. So without doing this also, there is one property that angle made by angle made by tangent at exterior point and angle made by point of contact at the center are supplementary to each other so we can directly also we can do this problem that this uh, angle POQ POQ plus angle POQ plus angle PTQ equal to 180 design angle made by angle made by tangent at exterior point and angle made by uh, point of contact as the center are supplemented to, to each other out of this this is 110 degree plus angle PTQ equal to 180 implies angle PTQ equal to 180 degree minus 110 degree that is equal to 70 degree this is what is the answer now let us take question number fourth so that tangents at the end, drawn at the end, ends of diameter of circle are parallel to each other. Now, what is given? This AB is diameter. AB is diameter. Diameter with center O. With center O. AB is diameter with center O. What is what is to prove that these are the PQ and RS these are the tangents these are the given things these are given things what is to prove to prove this PQ parallel to RS PQ parallel to RS 
PQ parallel to RS. What is given? These are the tangents, and this is center O. You know that center from center to means center to O A. That is radius. You know that radius is parallel to radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact. So what is O A center? O A center of circle, and this is point of contact is A. That is one in point of a one in point of a diameter, and O is center. Then you know that this angle O A R angle O A R angle O A R equal to 90 degree. Number one reason is radius is perpendicular to tangent. At point of contact. This is number one. Similarly, this is another end point of diameter that is B, and this is point of contact, and this is what say P Q. This P Q. It means that this O A is radius, and this is tangent. It implies this angle P B O. For OBP, that is equal to 90 degree. Number two, reason radius perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact. Point of contact. So what? Here, this RS RS perpendicular to OA. RS perpendicular to OA. This is R S perpendicular to O A. I R S perpendicular to O A. Where O A is radius. And in this second thing, this O B perpendicular to P Q. Where O B is again radius. O B radius. So radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact. Now, if you add these two, uh, if you add these two angles, then what happens? This angle is 90 degree. This angle is 90 degree. Means angle O A R plus angle P B O equal to 90 plus 90. That is equal to 180 degree. This is three. This is obtained by adding adding equation one and equation two. Then resultant is this. Now you know that these are the two lines, and sum of this consecutive interior angle is 180 degree. So this angle is 180 degree. Implies these are the parallel lines by using converse of corresponding um, consecutive interior angle. These are the consecutive interior angle. Implies this uh, R S and P Q parallel. P Q Parallel to R S by converse converse of consecutive interior angle property. What is consecutive interior angle property converse? You know that if two lines are parallel, then consecutive interior angle across the parallel lines are supplementary. Here angle are supplementary. It means that P Q parallel to R S. So this proves that. This PQ parallel to RS. This tangent PQ and tangent RS. These are parallel to each other. Now, what is given in this problem number eight? Problem number eight. What is given? ABCD is quadrilateral drawn to circumscribed circle. Mean this is this is what's a circle? And circumscribing circle means it is. Intersecting circle at distinct point means at one means this uh, uh, one one segment one side intersecting at say P this is Q this is R and S it means that circle lies in the interior of the circle lies in the interior of quadrilateral ABCD quadrilateral ABCD circle lies in the Interior of quadrilateral ABCD means this uh, quadrilateral circumscribed and this circle is inscribed. This circle is inscribed. 
and this quadrilateral is circumscribed. Now, what is what is to prove? Prove that prove that A B plus C D that is equal to B C plus uh, B C plus A D with some of these opposite sides. Some of these opposite sides. Length of opposite sides equal means. A B plus C D that is equal to A D plus B C that is we have to prove. Now how to prove this? First of all, you know that A B A B consists of two parts. A B is made up of two parts A P and P B. Means you know that this uh, A P A P add A P and P B that is equal to A P and P B that is equal to A P plus P B. That is equal to A P and P B. That is equal to A B. And C D, C D. That is C D. Where C D? C D. That is equal to C R and D R. This is C R plus B R. What is this? This is A B plus C D. A B plus C. Now, ah, now listen. What is given in the problem number eight? Problem number eight. In this case, A B C D quadrilateral A B C D circumscribing circle means it is the circle lies in the interior of this uh, quadrilateral A B C D touching the sides of quadrilateral A B C D at at a uh, single point or to each uh, side of this quadrilateral means A B intersecting A B intersecting circle at P. This is intersecting circle at Q. CD is at intersecting circle at R and this is at S. Another thing is what is what is uh, what is given. These are these are this is what say this quadrilateral circumscribing circle means circle is describing the quadrilateral. What is to prove? What is to prove? To prove that AB plus CD means sum of these opposite sides. That is equal to sum of this pair of opposite. That is BC plus AD. Means sum of these two sides and sum of these two sides are equal. That is to prove. And what is given? Given that quadrilateral ABCD circum circumscribing 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 circle. That is given. Means intersecting. Circle at uh, distinct points. This side is interesting. Now, this problem can be proved by two different ways. Water, water method. Better you find easy. You do it. Now, let us say LHS. I am doing one method. LHS. That is AB plus CD. Now, AB is made up of two parts. AB is made up of AP plus PB. And CD is made up of again two parts. CD is made up made up of CR plus BR. This is what say AB and this is what say CD. But you know that. But you know. But but what happen? AP AP equal to AS. But but uh, what happen? AP equal to AS. This is what say second. This is what say first equation. AP equal to AS and uh, PB PB where is PB 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 is a uh, PB equal to QB PB equal to QB. This is third. Next is CR CR equal to CQ CR equal to CQ number fourth. And next is dr equal to bs. Dr equal to bs. Number six. And reason of of all these are the tangent segments. Reason is these are the tangent segments from same exterior point. From exterior point, same exterior point. Exterior points. Means these are the tangent segments AP and AS with exterior point A. These are the 
tangent segment with exterior point B. These are the tangent segment with exterior point C. And these are the tangent segment with exterior point D. Now what happened? What is what is given? What is given? This A B plus C D that is equal to A P plus P B plus C R plus D R. That is why we have taken this is equation number one. And if we replace this all values A P P B C R and D uh, D R from this in equation number one. Then what happen? All value if we replace then this AP, AP become AP can be replaced by AS, PB can be replaced by QB, CR can be replaced by CR can be replaced by CQ, and DAR can be replaced by DS. Now we take this uh, AS and DS together, AS plus DS, AS plus DS together. And this uh, QB, QB plus CQ, QB is QC together. Then what happened? AS, where is AS? AS. This is AS. And DS. AS and DS that is equal to AD. And DQ, DQ, and DQ, DQ, and CQ. The Q and C Q that is equal to B C. So we have started with this L H S. That is L H S. We have started with L H S. L H S and we are H S to R H S. What is this A D E plus B C? So this is one of the main way how to solve this problem. Second way is start from this. We can have A P equal to A S, P B equal to B Q. C R equal to C Q, D R equal to D S. If we add all this, then we get this A B plus C D. And if we add all this, then we get A D plus B C. What I say? These are the tangent segment from exterior point. If we add, if we add one, two, three, four. Say I I say alternate. Huh? I say alternate. If we add all this, means add, add equation. Add equation second third second two second two fifth then what happen A P plus P B plus C R plus D R that is equal to A S plus Q B plus C Q plus C Q plus D S now you know that A P and P B that is equal to A B C R and D R C R and D R that is equal to C D and A S and D S we have already taken A S and D S that is equal to A D and this uh, Q B and uh, C Q that is equal to B C so this is what say if with this from this we can take this this is the second alternative how to do this uh, problem so we can solve this problem in two different methods.